So this is Tuulia Honesty Europe, from Honesty Europe, uh, back with some questions. I got a question, how could I stop the mindfuck of wanting people to like me? Um, yeah, well, what first comes to my mind is the kind of harsh label of mindfuck. Um, and I would propose that you try to bring some compassion to this topic. Um, so instead of labeling you wanting people to like you as a mindfuck, you would also label it as you being a perfect product of evolution. So as part of our evolution early on, some 10, 20,000 years ago, we as individuals, as species, survived in groups and approval and acceptance of a group, the group members liking me, was really a matter of life and death because we wouldn't be able to survive alone, like get the food and uh, find shelter from predators and so on. So it's part of how we are built, it's part of our being, it's part of our DNA. And then another question is how much that is kind of running me, how much that is running my system, my desire of other people to like me. And of course, it, for some of us, it, it can be running too much of our liking. And I imagine all of us do care what other people think of us. And I, I can see some positives there too, like that kind of stops us as being an ongoing asshole a bit more. That's my theory anyway. Um, first, what comes to me besides like being compassionate, this is how we are as people. Uh, that's how you are, that's how I am, that's how we tend to be as human beings. And then second is rather than hiding it, owning it and bringing it to light, whatever is kind of pushed down and put into the shadow and not talked about tends to grow bigger and bigger. And when you allow yourself to verbalize, ah, I notice I really wanna, want you to like me, oh, I notice I worry you don't like me, uh, I notice you liking me is really important to me, uh, yeah, you just allowing yourself to verbalize this ongoingly, even if it might be scary for you. And notice what you can notice in your body, what kind of sensations are happening in your body when you verbalize it. And kind of retrain your system, rewire your system, that it's all right to verbalize that you want people to like you, and it's all right that you do want people to like you. And you might even hear from other people that they, they have the same thing or a similar thing. Um, and you can feel like, yeah, you are not kind of standing out or any, any weirdo alone. So for me, this is a matter of rather than changing it, acceptance, and even bring some love and care and compassion. Like, yeah, this is actually there for a reason. Me wanting people to like me is there for a reason. It's about survival. It's about social ac acceptance, which is survival. So that's... That's actually a genius build and sometimes it just runs us more than we want. And that kind of is the issue and not the topic itself that we want people to like us. Uh, then you mentioned that as a kid you were kind of a weirdo and sometimes other kids didn't want the group to know that they were friendly with you or played with you and stuff like that. So there is kind of a history that wanting people to like you is kind of scary and worrisome and leads to a bad place and then it sounds like there is this wound to work on um, so one thing that comes to me is go back and tell those kids that you're actually mad at them for the way they behaved you're mad and sad about how it went and if you cannot find them anymore then maybe do some hot seat work around this topic Put the, put the kids in the, in the seat, the kids who were friendly with you and then kind of deny that or try to hide it in front of other kids. And yeah, allow yourself to feel all those feelings that are arising for you and allow yourself to be mad and loud to those kids. And kind of work on that, that wound, that, that piece of you. And I am sorry to hear that that happened to you. And I imagine you can do some good work around that. Um, yeah. So you're a normal human being for wanting other people to like you.
welcome to the human race. Ciao.